Hello, what's up, everybody? We're going to do this as a second take because the first time the uh, <laughs> the mixer had the mead setting on. So uh, what I want to talk about in this video is that the OA, the origin address for Hex, has sacrificed for PulseX. Now, this is a good thing. This is a good sign. This isn't something to fear. This isn't something that's unethical. I think that's just projecting by said person. But um, what this is, is this is that De Beers diamond analogy. And I made a tweet on Twitter and I said, hey, because as it was happening, I said, hey, for those that weren't there for big payday, for those that don't know what Richard has meaned, by De Beers diamond analogy, things like this. Well, people look at the the diamond coffers, uh, the majority of them that were owned, the amount of supply that was owned, you know, it was centrally owned by De Beers. And, you know, you have a price of diamonds that are so much more high because once again, they've got a large supply and, you know, the amount that's actually on, on for sale is clearly not what they have for supply. Anyways, I wanted to say that for something like PulseX that we have right now that's most relevant to this video, you have a benevolent whale that has the, they have the utmost reason to be the best, um, I, I guess, best player in the game, right? Out of all the other people, Overwatch and the God Whale and the OA, and then all the other people that sacrificed, uh, the person that has the most reason to protect the, the product and the bag which they sacrificed would be the OA. Uh, I just wanted to start off with that. Now let's come over here and let's find out what, you know, what proof we have that the OA sacrificed and, and how we can kind of figure that out. Okay, so if you go to pulsex.info, you're going to be able to get the, you know, the Ethereum address that is designed for the sacrifice. We're going to go over to, whoops, Ether, whoops about that etherscan.io wait for it to load real quick <laughs> make sure i'm not on the mute this time all right and we're going to paste in the uh address to sacrifice for pulse x all right now let's just let it load i mean you can already see with these kinds of numbers that the oa has sacrificed and that this is so much more than the first billion that we had right it's so much more and it's just super exciting to see and what is going on here. Now we come over here and let's just, we're gonna look at some other things too. I'll make it more short than I did the last video <laughs> that had no audio, but so 310 billion, 476 million, 745,478.747 hex have been sacrificed. Now, how we figure out, you know, when the OA sacrificed, uh, you know, how many times they did, et cetera. We're gonna go over here to ERC20 token uh, transactions click that, and then click view all. Okay, now I'm just going to scroll down just a bit. You know, these are some of the most recent ones, 11 minutes ago. Awesome. We're going to scroll down a little bit, and here's where the OA had, I mean, this is where their last sacrifice was. Now, I'm not too sure if they're going to continue sacrificing. Um, if it was anything like Pulse X, or sorry, Pulse, um, they, I'm pretty sure they just did almost what we see here which is like a conglomerate of sacrifices. And then that was pretty much it from what I recall at least. But so what we can see, 1 billion, 1 billion, 1 billion, you know, another, you know, just pretty much a whole bunch of billions of hex have been sacrificed and we can keep scrolling down and you keep seeing more and more. Uh, you can go look at the next page and there's gonna be some more sacrifices. See, once again, when the OA acts, they uh they do it kind of like a like a force and they do it quickly which once again goes to show you that it's awesome that we do have an oa it's awesome that we do have a good whale right um, a lot of whales they're at least in the real world a lot of whales they're not going to you know screw everyone over just to benefit themselves especially if it's done in a certain way like the oa is where even if they tried to do that they would not be benefiting themselves the you know whole concept of this theory would would just be a failure so there's no reason or incentive for people to think that um, just because they might have done that if they were in the same position um, anyway so you can just see all of these consecutive billions of hex that have just been sacrificed and let's go over to the other website right let's go over to apphex.win slash charts 
And I know this is something that Wales only had showed, and it's a really good barometer and a really good visual for what the actual supply is and how much really has been reduced off of the market. Okay, so we can see, you know, green, obviously that's the amount that's circulating. So it's less than half. The amount of Pulse X is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if you just look at the amount for Pulse X, right, versus versus Pulse, I mean, you, you can't even see Pulse on the uh, on the map. I don't know why that is, but, you know, clearly, um, oh yeah, there it is. Whoops, let me click on it. There it is. So there's the Pulse. Look at how small that Pulse chain sacrifice is versus Pulse X. So whoever uh, the OA is, whatever it is, group of people, you know, yada, 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 they, uh, they really know what they're doing here with this Pulse X, and I'm excited for that. Um, talk about the you know, ultimate diamond hands and, you know, the never selling meme type of deal. So anyways, just kind of wanted to show you that, you know, there's a huge amount of supply, 48.616% uh, sacrificed, you know, 9.677% staked. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. And this really just is the beginning. I mean, you know, our first 10,000 X, you've got, you know, just the 10,000 number right there, as far as what the T-shares were, you know, at most recently at its almost a near all-time high, but you've got the first 10,000 X that we've seen in Hex, and I've mentioned this before, but you know I've mentioned that, hey, Hex did its 10,000 X in about a year and a half, and clearly there's going to be a dump. Clearly there's, clearly there's going to be a dip. You've got people that have never been wealthy before taking profits. That's fine. That might not know how to take profits the best way, but then what you're going to have is, you know, you've got the first 10,000 X, which is maybe like this, but we're setting up for that second 10,000 X guys and gals. So like that second one might go up here. And then what we're really doing is on trajectory to, you know, the 100,000 X, which is like right here, right? But damn it, Bitcoin did 6.9 million X. Hex is designed to do the same thing too, but designed to do more just because of the store of value, supply and demand, et cetera. So when you look at what Bitcoin's done over like a 13 year time frame, right? Since it's been around, you know, it's got this huge S curve Right, I'll try and do it without the mic. A huge S curve, you know, kind of like this. Well, if we look at where we're at in time, you know, we're we're like right here. You know, we're still at that flat part. And I always try and use that as an analogy because, you know, the the people that are OGs in hex and the people that have stayed around and stuff, people act like you know it was just all luck and that we didn't do any work to actually get here. I can promise you, so many people sold so early. You know, I showed yesterday on my stream. Oh man, I sold my hex, man. Can't believe I sold my hex. You know, the guy that sold 16 million hex, another guy, uh, what was his name? Brad Mills sold 8 million hex and was bitching and complaining that he, uh, you know, that he didn't get enough uh, hex for the deal, things like that. So anyways, all I wanted to say is that this game is, as Crypto Heartbeat says, it's a get rich slow scheme. It's a you know, build wealth and abundance and structures and, you know, vertical integration and stuff like this. It's not have everything at once, you know, it's not to have your cake and eat it too. It's the, hey, it's that tortoise versus the hare, right? The the rabbit versus the turtle. You know, the turtle is slow and steady. It's like Richard Hart, right? Richard's got the, uh, I've got the sci-fi book in the other room, but, you know, this is the fix the world book, right? And so this is part of, part of Richard's plan, part of the tortoise right? The Tortuga. Um, so, you know, you've got the, the tortoise kind of doing a thing here, you know, SciVive is another, but Richard had mentioned either in this or SciVive, I think it was SciVive, but to, to get people interested in actually bettering themselves and bettering humanity as a whole, you have to give them what they want first, because otherwise they're great ideas, but you've got a tragedy of the commons because, you know, they've got bigger things to worry about. So what we're seeing with Hex, Pulse X, Pulse Chain is just a group of people that are going to be, you know, the elite or the the wealthiest people in the world, in my opinion, and from what I see happening. And uh, it's awesome. It really is team win. It really is leading by example. And the last thing that I'll say for those that, you know, haven't had 10,000 X or even 1X or 10X or anything like that is that you get to a point whatever your number is, right? Everyone's number is different. It's not just a set amount of hex, you know, 10 million, 1 million, 100 million that people retire from. It's different based on your circumstances, your location, how much your expenses are.
But once you get uh, to a certain point of, of wealth where you can't spend it, uh, you can't spend all of it, even if you tried, right? Even if you're wasting it, then you get to a point where it's like, okay, you know, now money is just what it was supposed to be, which was just kind of like a means to an end or, you know, a way to do business and, you know, service and goods and stuff. But now what is that person going to do that has, you know, so much wealth? Like, what are you going to do? What am I going to do if I'm at that point where, you know, now I don't need to work for, you know, a company or someone else. I've got that all afforded and, you know, fixated. But now how can I kind of take what Richard's done, what he's allowed me to have through making amazing products? How can I kind of pay it forward? Or how can I educate people and, and get them on the ship too? Because I said this with Crypto Heartbeat, but I promise you it's true that it's not fun getting rich by yourself. I mean, why do you think with the Uniswap airdrop, I wanted to get my family members and stuff in because I wanted them to have some of the wealth too and to also experience some of this as opposed to being like a king on the hill and then everyone else are poor peasants and it's like just the king alone in the castle and then everyone else is down here. It's like, no, we want to we wanna get, you know, every person that's down there up to that same level and, you know, just the abundance mentality versus the scarcity mentality. So... So all I wanted to show really guys and gals was that a large amount of the hex supply itself has been sacrificed and what we're just going to have is, you know, a lot easier for the price to actually pump when people realize that we're initially scared. So, you know, so many people were initially scared that, oh, you know, you have the OA with all of this hex and stuff. How do we know it's not going to sell? Well, certain things like sacrificing and staking really prove that, you know, hey, it's not going to be sold or it's not going to be tapped into. So that's all I want to say, everyone. Have a great, you know, day, night, or afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. And uh, I did a live stream with Dollar Cost Crypto yesterday. I will be posting that on my channel tonight. Um, I will be posting this before I post that one. Uh, so once again, because this was a little bit more pertinent, the OA had sacrificed. It's an amazing thing. And uh, it's really bullish, right? We can all we can all do successful together. It doesn't have to be one person wins, the other person loses. No. Richard's showing people that you can create value. You can create products, right? And then people will happily give you their money. You don't have to try and scheme it away from them or try and derive a plan to steal it from them or extract it from them. So shout out to Richard, right? Team win, leading by example. And until next time, everyone, peace, much love.